What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Your favorite local pit master, Eddie Wright, is here. We're here to check in. Shouts out to Tim Super Clean, doing our thing. Today, big news, big announcement. We are taking our Generac GP8000, bam, and we are about to retire it. Retiring means it's gonna come off of here, maybe in a few weeks, now about to be decommissioned. And with that, we're going to show you and talk to you about the replacement. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the new Predator Super Quiet Inverter 9500. 7600 running watts, 9500 max starting watts. Why do we need this generator versus this generator? This is a great generator, 10,000 starting watts. Uh, I think it's about 8,000 running watts, which is awesome. But this is a super quiet inverter, keyword on quiet generator. So we've been using the Generac for about two years now. We've had a lot of success with it. It's been very good to us, but it's time for us to move on so that we can get a quieter working environment for ourselves and our patrons and make it more welcoming and make our mobile services a lot more quieter when we go out in the even times and on locations. And um, it just makes for an all around better experience. So with that being said, we're gonna prop this thing up on the stand, gonna do an unboxing, put some oil in it, put some fuel in it, and we're gonna let you guys see the live difference in the sound of the Predator versus the Generac. All right, let's get to it. All right, a little bit of a workout. Hopefully you guys got to enjoy that time lapse of me unboxing this humongous thing. Um, size wise, it should fit right in the same spot. It's just gonna be a little bit taller than what the Generac is. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna take all of the accessories it came with, we're gonna get it fueled up, oiled up, we're gonna get it started, and we're gonna let you guys hear the difference between a quiet inverter generator and a plain Jane just 100% as soon as you turn the some bitch on generator. All right, we'll be right back. One thing we do want to talk about this unit is not plug and play. Uh, you do have to do a few minor assembly steps, same as the Generac when I got it. We popped off the uh, face panel here, two bolts, one, two, and it gives us access to this side entry panel. Here's our battery it's, and the strap. It sits right in here in this pocket, small little uh, Zip tie connects that positive negative terminal. We're gonna put those in, strap them to the right terminals, and uh, we should be good to go. So we just want to show you guys this, show you guys the inner working good. Looks real clean, real nice. As you can see, the tank sits up top, and it falls way down on the inside. This is an awesome looking machine. And lastly, on the other side, you can see our exhaust, our pull string for the motor that we probably won't be using. The, I believe this is the intake for the air and you have the oil. You'll have to add about a quart and a half, 10W30. You have to add about a quart and a half of 10W30, and this thing's ready to rock and roll. Let's get it put back together, get it fired up. All right, running on daylight, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this thing up. We're gonna give you guys the final test of the Generac versus the Predator 9500 Extra Quiet Under Load. What I mean by under load is I've got my AC unit on, I've got smokers rolling, and we're gonna let you guys hear the difference between the two. So, let's get to it. First, the Generac GP8000E. Gonna choke it. Start buttons on. That's the generator. Under load. As you can see, the generator is very loud. So at my serving window, which I'm standing at now, customers would have to pretty much get really close to hear me in order for me to give them the order or ask them that them ask me questions. 
yada, yada, yada. So that being said, we're gonna cut the power now. We're gonna plug into the Predator 9500. And we're gonna see what it sounds like. I can say I'm so happy to be away from this thing now. All right, let's plug up the Generac. We're going in on the 240 side. We've got it switched already. It's on the lockable, 240, 30 amps. I think we've got the right switch. Oh, give me a second. This is the Generac Super Quiet 9500 under load. It's choking. super in love with this thing again we've got power our smokers are rolling we've got one rolling that's our power light so we got the inside and we've got power we've got external lights pit lights are working this is with every light on currently on the generac and we are getting close to the window. And as you can see, we're no longer having to yell a whole lot or even raise our voice to talk about our menu answer questions or just to have a casual conversation with our patrons. This is exciting. I'm extremely happy about this purchase. It costs a little bit more than what I'm comfortable with, but I'm very happy, very happy with the results. This is our new Predator 9500 extra quiet generator on Stormtrooper, our competition concession trailer. We're saying goodbye to the Generac and we are very happy about that. Stay tuned for more Maze of Barbecue videos. Stay tuned for more content. Like, share, and subscribe to everything we have going on with the channel. My name is Eddie Wright and always remember, you too can do Amazing Barbecue the right way. Happy New Year and we'll see you next time.